Okay, let's find dy dx using implicit differentiation. So we have x squared plus xy squared plus 3 equals y. Now, I'm going to get started by taking dy, sorry, d dx of both sides. And of course, we want to find dy dx. Which is, in other words, the derivative of y with respect to x. Now, of course, we're going to have to <clears throat> sorry, apply d dx to every element over here. So we're differentiating with respect to x for the x squared. We're differentiating with respect to x for xy squared, as well as the 3, just a constant. And on, on this side over here, we have d dx of y. Now, what is that going to turn out to be? Well, remember that we're differentiating with respect to x, but we need to change it to a y because we have a y right there. So what can we do? We can go d dy of y times dy dx. Because this whole thing here would work out to be just d dx. So, okay, so what that mean? What does that mean? Well, d dy of y, so the derivative of y with respect to y is just 1. And we're multiplying that by dy dx. So we get just dy dx. Great. Now, now what? Well, here we have d dx of x squared. What is the derivative of x squared? Just 2x. Now comes the tricky part of this particular problem. We have to actually differentiate with respect or sorry, we have to differentiate the whole thing here with respect to x. And since we're multiplying x and y squared, we're going to need to use the product rule. So we're going to have to go d dx of x times y squared. Now we're going to have to do the opposite because that's the product rule. So we have x times dy, sorry, not dy dx, just d dx at this point, of y squared plus d dx of 3. Now this, the derivative of any constant with respect to x is just 0. And that's still equal to dy dx. Fantastic. Now we're getting much closer. So that's just 2x plus. Now d dx of x, the derivative of x with respect to x is 1. And we're multiplying that by y squared. Then we're adding x times d dx of y squared. Now, what are we going to have to do with this? Well, remember that will become d dy of y squared times dy dx. And the derivative of y squared with respect to y is just 2y. And we're multiplying that by dy dx. That's equal to dy dx on the other side. The 0, of course, is gone. Because if we add 0 to anything, it's just the same thing. No. Now we want to isolate dy dx. So I'm going to bring this guy over to this side. Everything that doesn't have a dy dx to the other side of the equation. So we're going to end up with 2y dy dx. This guy right here, right? Minus dy dx. And that's equal to this, which is negative 2x, because I had to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation, right, for them to cancel out. 1 times y squared is just y squared, so I can subtract a y squared from both sides. So that's what we have. And over here, I have to factor out a dy dx to get 2y minus 1 equals y minus 1, because minus dy, or negative dy dx divided by dy dx is just negative 1, equals negative 2x minus y squared. Oops, that's y squared. Great. At this point, to isolate dy dx, and I'm running out of, out of room here, I'll divide both sides by 2y minus 1. 2y minus 1. So we have successfully isolated dy dx, and our answer is this. Negative 2x minus y squared over 2y minus 1. That's it.
If you want to watch more questions, check us out on this website right here. It's pretty spectacular. Good luck.